Alright, so I don't have the regular four barrel 4150 flange uh, intake manifold that I was running with the Fiatech. Uh, my plan is to convert it to multi port fuel injection. In order to do this, I have to get the rails, the injectors, and also the bungs that will go into each port. Now, I'm going to have to mark and drill, set these in here and weld them in on either side. Uh, the rail should sit, you know, somewhere around right here. Uh, you just want to make sure that the injector is pointed directly at the back of the valve. Um, as nice clean of a shot as you can get going straight to the valve and back of the valve to get a nice even spray pattern going directly into that uh, into that cylinder. So I'm just going to uh, to measure. Um, you got the holes here for each injector and they need to go centered of each port and then you've got the stand that goes in and then two set screws hold it you have the tall stand and then the short stand um, depending on the size and length of your injector and obviously I'll probably be using the longer stand um, so these I guess I could drill and tap intake manifold or likely what will end up happening is I can make a, um, a, uh, a nut or whatever you want to call it weld it on there or I could do a nut insert in there um, so it'd be you know somewhere around right there and then you have to drill and tap which right there in the middle you're probably in between two cylinders so if I drill and tap it I definitely have to use some sort of a sealant on that to keep it from, uh, from leaking but uh, that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to measure the, the whole distance between each other and then average that out across so I can get uh, as close to center on each of the uh, bung holes as possible um, so it looks like these are about an inch and a half spacing from each other, but then the other side doesn't really have a nice even number. So these will be inch and a half offset plus the distance in between. So I'm going to mark those, get everything ready, set up, and uh, you know, uh, you probably should do this in a, um, in a drill press so you can get a nice even uh, drill angle between them. But I'm going to do this by hand and then if I have to have, you know, a tiny bit of gap to where I can rock these to center because when you put the injector in here, you don't want it to be laid off to the side. Because if you do that, then the O-ring's not going to seal all the way around fuel leak and fuel leak can cause a fire and can burn your whole deal down so definitely important to make sure that everything is nice and centered everything is even all the way across and uh, whenever you use these standoffs you just make sure that it pulls down and puts pressure on top of the injector so everything is nice sturdy and uh, you know you're not going to hit a bump and all of a sudden fuel rail can off of some crazy nonsense like that. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Alright, so I've got the holes marked out for center of each uh, injector. Uh, it looks like it's about in line with the existing pads that I'm using the methanol injection on. But the fuel rail will sit up uh, right around there, so it's going to clear everything, everything's going to look good. Um, the only issue I'm going to have is on the other side, where they have the Braddix casting right there. I'm just going to have to cut it off and make it flush like the other side. So it'll be a little bit of work, but it won't be too, too bad. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the height set for these and then drill a single pilot hole and then uh, see how well I can get 
get the, the holes, um, you know, set in there by hand. Um, it's a fairly large hole and it's going to have to be at an angle. I'm going to be doing it by hand, so definitely going to take my time. And if there's a little bit of a gap, then, uh, you know, this stuff is, is pretty thick. It's, um, maybe three, three, well, about an eighth of an inch, I'd say. Um, so there's definitely some meat there to weld to if there's any sort of uh, issue. So it won't be too bad. I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes and then uh, see if I can set these in here and uh, get everything mocked up to tack. All right, so I've got two of the holes complete. There and there. This one's just about done. Waiting on some batteries to charge. And I've got one more to go. So that's about where they're going to sit. Um, it's looking pretty good. I'm just going to make sure that the, uh, the stands will have enough room to come down and hit here or, you know, whatever I need to do. I need to weld a bung on it for, uh, for some threads to thread it in. Whatever I need to do. Uh, got really close right there to the um, existing tapped hole. 